Hi everyone, welcome back to a flight attendant video. Today is my first day back to work after 26 days of not working. The last time I was at work was October 1st. Today is the 27th. Yeah, I had vacation, I went away, I took some extra days off, but I'm back, back to work. Today I'm doing a two day trip, very easy trip. It's one flight to Philadelphia and then we deadhead to Charlotte and then we lay over for like 24 hours and then we do one flight home tomorrow evening. So come along with me on this trip. It is gonna be on a wide body aircraft, the 787. So come along, I'm excited, super easy trip to come back to it's been a while since i've done a flight attendant vlog so i hope you guys enjoy this one first things first get my luggage out of the car and then take the employee shuttle to the main terminal oh and then i mentioned it's 7 20 in the morning and i have to be in the terminal at 7 50 so i'm here with 30 minutes to spare and i look horrendous i need a haircut so bad i got to the gate a little early so i was let down onto the airplane this plane is a boeing 787 800 i'll be working in business class There's only 20 business class seats on this plane. This is the front galley. This flight was very light as we only had 60 passengers on it. It was a nice welcome back to work flight. And I have officially made it to my hotel room here in Charlotte. I've never had a long layover here before. I think I said that earlier. But yeah, this is my room for the next 24 hours. This is a view. Can you guys see the trees? The colors are changing on the leaves. So pretty. It's a very pretty day here today, actually. Also, if you're wondering why I'm not in uniform, that's because we did deadhead on the flight from Philly to Charlotte. So when you're deadheading, you're allowed to change out of your uniform and put on regular clothes. And since I was in a passenger seat, I thought, why not change and be a little bit more comfortable for that flight? So here I am. So now me and my crew are gonna meet up in a little while. We're gonna go, I think maybe have Mexican food, have a few drinks, and then I don't know. I don't know what else the night will take us into. But before we move on with the rest of this video, I wanna tell you guys about Dossier. So Dossier sent me these two fragrances. I'm just trying to get it open. This one is woody sandalwood and this one is ambery saffron i just left them in the box because i think the box is super cute but they are iconic scents designer quality no markups so if you guys don't know about dossier they basically make fragrances but what they are popular for is making impressions of luxury fragrances so for example here i have ambery saffron which is an impression of the luxury fragrance baccarat rouge so if you guys have smelled baccarat rouge or you know anything about baccarat rouge you'll know that it is very pricey it's 300 and up so yeah it's a very expensive fragrance as well as um, another fragrance woody sandalwood which is the one that I've been wearing for like the past two years it's an impression of Le Labo Santal 33 so I know I have mentioned me wearing Santal 33 in the past but once I discovered that Dossier makes an impression of Le Labo Santal 33 I thought I have to try it and I tried it and it smells so good people stop me and they're like, oh, you're wearing the Labo. And I'm like, no, it's actually not. It's actually Dossier Woody Sandalwood. And they're like, it smells exactly like it. And I'm like, I know. This is why I no longer will purchase the expensive brand because I can get it for like a quarter of the price. This is like $49. Whereas Santal 33 starts around $190 for like a small bottle like this big. So somewhere around the price in the 200 range. So needless to say, Dossier is now my go-to for this scent. Also the Baccarat Rouge smells really good. The best part about these two fragrances is that they are unisex. So these two fragrances are some of Dossier's best sellers. And I can see why, just because they smell exactly like the luxury fragrance, but at such a affordable price. I highly recommend Dossier, guys. I've used them in the past. I would never recommend something that I've never used. And it is something that I will continue to purchase for the rest of my life, just because it smells identical to the original fragrance. They also have impressions of other fragrances that I have not yet smelled, which I'm sure are pretty amazing. But these are the two that I've been using and that I've smelled and that I really, really love. But not only does Dossier make impressions of luxury fragrances, they do have original fragrances as well. But yeah, highly recommend Dossier. Go to their website and check out all of their fragrances. I'm so glad that I found them and I literally tell everyone about them. So click on the link in the description box down below. Head on over to their website and use my discount code for 5% off of your next order. So I just changed shirts because this is what I'm going to go out in uh, for dinner. I'm going to spray myself with a woody sandalwood because again, this is my favorite and I just spray a lot because I love it. <laughs> Again, I get so many compliments anytime that I wear that one. All right, now I'm gonna text my crew member. He gave me his number. I've never flown with him before. And uh, we're gonna meet up with a few others and then we're gonna go to dinner. So three other guys from my crew and I decided to have dinner together. So we walked from our hotel to the restaurant. I really enjoyed the walk because the weather was great and it was nice to see all the fall leaves. We had dinner at this Mexican place called Que Onda. I got a margarita and the birria tacos, which were delicious. 
Later that night, we went to a bar where it was my first time seeing people line dance, so that was fun. The next day. Back in uniform, time to head to the airport. Today we're doing one flight back home to Miami. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to get my hair cut. My barber is actually going in on his day off just to cut my hair. I told him no, he didn't have to do that. But I guess he doesn't want to lose my business because I asked him, I said, can you recommend me someone else because I really need a haircut? He said, don't worry, I'm coming in on my day off to cut your hair. I'm like, okay, if you insist. So that's what I'm doing tomorrow. Tomorrow night, I actually have a trip to London. I haven't decided if I'm vlogging that yet. Probably will. So make sure you're subscribed and have the bell turned on so you guys can watch that video. Anyways, heading to the airport now. Today we're flying on the Boeing 777-200. Yesterday we flew on the Boeing 787. So new aircraft type today. And it's a short flight back home. It's like an hour and a half. So that'll be easy. Overall, it was a fun layover. Very relaxing. Last night was fun with my crew. We went out to some bars. We had dinner. I am kind of am liking Charlotte, guys. I think if I were to move away from Florida, which I do want to move away from Florida. Charlotte is it. I think it's very pretty here. They have all four seasons. If any of you live in Charlotte, comment down below and tell me what you think. Do you like it here? Do you not like it here? Give me some input on living in Charlotte. I'm gonna zip up this bag and I'm gonna head downstairs and catch a shuttle to the airport. So my crew of eight got picked up from the hotel and were dropped off at the airport in Charlotte. Here I am walking down the jet bridge to the plane. A wide body airplane is my favorite airplane to work on. This is a business class cabin where I'll be working on this very short flight. Only one hour and 25 minutes to Miami from Charlotte. Since it's such a short flight, we offered a full beverage service and some snacks in business class. I'm on the employee bus, trip is over, and I'm the only one left on the shuttle. Even though it's only been a two day trip, I feel like it's been a long time since I parked my car yesterday morning. It's wild how just time flies and it's just when you're when you're a flight attendant, how time just goes by so differently. It is 8 p.m. exactly, which is not too late actually. I was actually invited by a friend to go to go to some bars and go drinking and all that stuff, but I did that last night, number one. And number two, I am too old for all that, to be doing it multiple times and to be doing it a lot in a row. It is Halloween weekend though, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna go or not. So I'm home now. It took me like 40 minutes to drive home, which was not bad at all. Look who's here saying hello. Look who's here, my little girl who I missed. So if you guys are new to my channel, this is Mia. She's my three-year-old little girl. This is my Halloween decor. I got my Halloween blanket and I got my Halloween pillows. Sorry for the noise, it's because the AC is right there and it's super loud, but it just went off, so that's good. Um, I forgot to tell you guys that we had a go around today. If you don't know what a go around is, basically what happened was, as we were getting close to landing in Miami, the landing gear was already down. We were getting close to going on the runway. All of a sudden the plane took back off again. So it's called the go around. Basically air traffic control told the airplane, told the captain that there was too much congestion on the runway. He then told our aircraft to take back off again, go around the airport and then come back in for landing again. So it's kind of like a weird sensation because you're close to landing and all of a sudden you feel the plane going back up again. So I know it kind of scares a lot of people. It's totally safe, but yeah, that happened to me tonight. It's been a while since I've had a um, go around. Now time to take off this monkey suit. I want to be getting dressed again for work in 24 hours from now because my trip to London is tomorrow night and I think I have to be at the airport at like 10 p.m. It's a late London departure out of Miami tomorrow night. So excited for London. I'm flying with a friend who I think she says she wants to go to high tea. So we're gonna do that. Anyhow, thanks so much for watching this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comments down below. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure you are subscribed. Follow me on Instagram and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.